Hey guys, welcome to Behind the Bumpers. Over here, I have Team 4917, winners of the North Bay event this year and one of the up-and-coming teams in Ontario. Over here, I have Jorge and Blake, and they're going to take me through their robot. So Blake, tell me about the design decision that went behind making your pass-through intake and the big wide boy elevator. So essentially, when designing the robot this year, we wanted to make it efficient so that we could actually take hatches and balls through our mast and uh, make our cycle time as quick as possible, essentially. Yeah, so that's kind of a, that a demonstration of how we do that. We actually have our hatch mechanism inside of our ball intake that basically floats in between uh, where we would intake a ball usually. Awesome. And then, Jorge, did you want to talk to me about why this intake, it looks a little fancy, so it pivots here and it also pivots here. So do you want to explain the design decision behind that? Yeah, so um, we have two pivots because when we're intaking cargo, we have it in this sort of position, uh, like that, uh, but this thing flips inside of that. Uh, but then when we're intaking hatches, it folds down, so it's out of the, it's out of the way, so it can freely intake uh, hatches. And it's quite beefy because we use it for climbing. So this lifts up this end of the robot, and that's why we have the big 35 chain, uh, the big aluminum, we, we had to change that because we bent it quite a few times. Um, but ever since, it's been pretty good. And you also want to talk to me about your drivetrain. It's pretty unique because you use chain, but you're not actually tensioning the chain. So do you want to talk about that? Um, yeah, so for the drivetrain, we decided not to go tension. We decided not to have a tensioner because we didn't exactly know how to fit one in there and we didn't really want to figure out how to. So we actually, on the, on the mill, one of our mentors uh, spent a, an hour or two just figuring out exactly what distance we needed, and that's what we used. And the, the chain hasn't been changed once since, and it's been pretty good. I love that because it's like the low maintenance of belt and the low profile of chain. So guys, it's been really great talking to you here on the Tesla field. Best of luck here at the first championships presented by Qualcomm in Detroit. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.